searching, there's no heaven. Alright, so this is going to be part two of the Sony FS5 autofocus test. And that's mainly because of a viewer named John Mark who commented on the video saying, have you tried taking off the face section and see if the autofocus works better? And then he followed it up with, I own two Sony FS5s and one of them have the Metabone Speed Booster Cine and for some reason without the face section, autofocus is pretty fast. So we're gonna be testing out the autofocus with and without the face section and we're using the Tamron 2875, which I found to be the best autofocusing lens on the Sony FS5. So we're gonna see how that works. And one thing I want you guys to really pay attention is the lights behind me. Cause you can't really tell what the problem with the autofocus with this camera is that you get the wobblies. If you look at the, these, these bokeh balls behind me, they will get smaller and bigger. Like they'll, they'll have like a micro smaller and bigger. And that's a little jarring. So we're gonna see how it works out with, with and without face detection. So let's do that right now. Okay, so now we have autofocus with the face detection. And right now it has my face with a square around it. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job of following my face. But the problem is that you get the micro jitters, which I'm gonna get closer to just to make it make it more obvious. Okay, lost me for there a second. We just pay attention to the bokeh balls behind me. Like you can see them like pulsating, like as if they're breathing. They get bigger and smaller. That's the problem with the contrast detect. So I don't even know if this is gonna really change it that much. But yeah, I can still see it. Even though it's like keeping my face in focus pretty much, but it just like goes back and forth. So let's try taking off the auto, I mean the face detection off of it and see if that fixes it. Okay, now we have face detection off and is he gonna get my face? It's actually like kind of slow right now. What's in focus? Nothing is in focus right now. Oh Jesus. Okay, okay, it got me in focus. Are right, my face in focus? Are we gonna, yeah, it's doing, yeah. It's doing a decent job of keeping my face in focus. But are we gonna get the micro shutter? So honestly, it doesn't look like we're getting them. Did that fix it? Oh my god! Maybe that was a problem all along. Maybe this camera does have usable autofocus. That looks pretty fine to me. In post, I will know for sure if it's working fine. But for now, it seems to be working decently well. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any pulsating. Yeah, that seems to be working fine. So, okay, let's let's step it up a little bit. So let's try the Sigma 35 to 35 millimeter 1.4, which was the worst performing lens, and see if that lens works fine with without the face detection. Maybe that was the problem all along. Okay, so looking at this footage, there's my beautiful face. That's a decent job of picking up your face. And now if we look at the bokeh balls, like I'm pointing right there, you, you can still see some wobbling on this lens. And even there, like it lost focus of my eye. But we are shooting at f1.4, so it's a little bit more harder to do. But honestly, it does a pretty decent job, like compared to what it was, with the face detection, this is a lot better. As you can see, there, there is a little bit of wobblies I'm seeing right now. Yeah. But now we, while we have it focused. Honestly, with this lens, I still wouldn't use autofocus. But if you have to, it's not too bad. It's def it's def you still definitely get the wobblies but definitely not as much if you were using face detection. Because while I was using face detection, this lens was pretty much unusable with autofocus. So John Mark, I gotta thank you because this is a great suggestion. If you're using a Sony FS5, definitely turn off the face detection because it makes the autofocus unusable. But if you need to use autofocus, I think turning off face detection works pretty great, especially on the Tamron 2875. If you're gonna use something like Sigma 35 millimeter f1.4 while you're right up to it, you know, where it's like already hard to like focus with it with like a good camera, like 
the Sony a7R3 that I'm shooting with right now. Even this camera has a little bit of hard time focusing with this lens. If you're shooting with a lens that has a wider depth of field, I think it works pretty fine. But things like you do have to turn off the face section autofocus, which it, which if you're doing something like an interview or something, you know, if there's some people that like to talk with their hands, like if they're talking like this, then it will mess up with the focus and then the camera will try to focus on the hands and not focus on the face. That can be annoying. But either way, turning off the face section autofocus just gives you way better results. So I would just keep that off. I wouldn't bother turning it on. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. I make videos every single week about photography and videography. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.